Yo, this is a message for the so-called Stratford soldiers from the E19 Posse. We heard you've been stepping on our turf. Try it again and you will get smoked, fam. Hey, E19 Pussies, look where we are. We're in your postcode and I don't see you doing nothing about it. Maybe because you're too stupid to actually read the street signs, innit? Message over. Firstly, you pulled some bold moves coming on our turf. Secondly, what you said about us not being able to read, that's actually pretty offensive, fam. Yeah, because our man, them Darren, has got dyslexia and it's been holding him back at school for a while now. So don't say it again. Yeah, we didn't actually know about Darren's dyslexia. That's obviously not great. And we wish him all the best with his daily struggles. And we weren't going to mention this year, but our boy Jake here, raise your hand, Jake. His mum's in a wheelchair and he's actually been a carer since he was 12 years old. So you accusing him of not being sensitive to disability issues is actually quite upsetting. Look, no lies. We just want to say we had no idea about Jake's mum being in a wheelchair. I've actually got a bunch of pamphlets here about dealing with difficult issues in your personal life. They've got bare information in them. I know we said you can't come on our turf, but I'm going to leave them on the side of Rednock Road and Sutton Street. So if you do want to come and take a look, that'll be cool, fam. We got your pamphlets, yeah? And we left you a lemon sponge cake there by way of a thank you. Stratford soldiers, where did you man get that sponge cake? It was bare moist and light. E19 Posse, you're not going to believe this, yeah? But I actually baked it myself. I'll tell you the secret of my moist lemon sponge, but then I have to probably kill you. Message over. So you're threatening to kill us now? Is it? Listen, fuck your recipe. Bring your cake to the wall, man. Your cake was dead. You know Mr. Kipling, that comes out. Hey, yo, Stratford soldiers, guess where we are? We're in your postcard. And we're going to leave you a little gift. Pussios. E19 Pussy, you got some front stepping on our turf. Try that again and you won't make it out alive. Also, quick word on your graffiti. You've got nice smooth lines there. There's an anarchical approach to the human body that shows real talent and flair. Message over. Stratford soldiers, I'm not gonna lie, I've been drawing for a while now and I wasn't really encouraged at school. But thanks to positive feedback like yours, yeah, it's given me the confidence to express myself in the public arena. Furthermore, what do you think about these wall colors that man done? Mad thing. See the texture? Mad texture. Who did those brush strokes? You did those brush strokes? Nah, it must have been done by Monet or something. They're banging blood. Terrell here says it was the best representation of grass he's seen outside of the National Gallery. Didn't you say that, Terrell? Yeah, yeah. Message over. Stratford soldiers were truly humbled by your feedback. And by way of appreciation, mind you a special thing for a man like Terrell. Special. Terrell. Mm. Big T, man got you. Message over. E19 Posse, that picture of Terrell is the bomb. He <laughs> properly loves it, don't you, Terrell? Yeah, yeah. He's taking it to his mum's house and hung it up in her downstairs toilet. What, downstairs toilet? What? what? My thing in the downstairs toilet. Are you mad? Listen, I spent weeks on that thing. Oh, you want it, Van Gogh? No, hey, your no, feedback no, was no, dead. No, yeah, no, feedback no, was no, dead. Yo, this is the message for the so-called Stratford soldiers from the E19 Posse. Till now, We've been playing around. Mm -hmm. But guess what? Shit just got real big, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Dunno. That man's got a strap, man. Dunno. No. So best mind where you're stepping. No, no, no. Message over. Shh. Yeah, this is the Stratford soldiers. So you think you're a mash man now, is it? You better watch where you're pointing that thing, fam. You might shoot yourself in the foot or something. On a serious note, you better be careful with that because gun safety ain't no joke. Those things can be dangerous, and we'd hate for you to have an accident. Message over. Listen. Thank you for your concern, Stratford soldiers. You're right about firearm safety, and you'll be pleased to know that me and my crew took a two-day course in Nuneaton before purchasing this weapon. And Jay Lloyd there, Lloyd, put your hand up. Safety first, guys, seriously. Listen, that's our designated firearm officer. Yeah, he makes sure the correct procedures are followed at all times. And we even have a rule, no one carries the gun and the bullets at the same time. Mm -mm. You understand me? Message over. Thanks for putting our minds at rest with regards to your new gun. We'll be able to sleep easier at night knowing you're doing everything you can to stay safe. Having said that, accidents can happen. Our man Jake here is actually trained with St John's Ambulance on how to treat bullet wounds and major blood loss. He says he'd be happy to come over to E19 anytime to give you and your colleagues a teaching demonstration. Just let him know when's a good time. Message over.
Well, you want to step in a man's turf, yeah? <laughs> hey, pass me the bullets. Pass me the bullets. Listen, don't step on a fucking turf. Listen, big man. Hey, no, 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 very offensive, mm -hmm. especially since my boy Erkan here. Yeah, listen, he's recently made the boldest move to come out as gay. Do you know how much courage that takes? Especially, yeah, with the deeply homophobic mm -hmm. views of most of these little street crews. Mm -hmm. You understand that? Message over. E19 Posse, we're sorry for any offense we've caused and we wish Erkan the best. In fact, Erkan's story has inspired one of our own. Chris here, raise your hand, Chris. To come out himself, not easy, but he has our full support. So respect to Chris here and to your Urkan. Message over. Hey, yo, Chris, it's actually brave what you did, you know? See my boy Urkan here? He's actually kind of feeling you. He thinks that you're kind of cute. So obviously he's asked me to ask you if you'd like to go on a little date night. That's cool with us as well. You got a hood pass. You got a hood pass, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Right, say nothing, say yeah. nothing. That's a bold move from Urkan. But I've had a chat with Chris here, and he thanks Erkan for his interest, but says Erkan's not really his type. Nah, nah. Message over. Not his type. Are you fucking mad? My man's out of your league, you know? You understand that? Before man came out, he was getting bad chicks. Now he's getting bad chicks. Are you fucking mad? Hey, yo, you're dead. Stratford soldiers, yeah? You man got bars. Oh, he's strapped with soldiers. Darren is a rat and a poser. Get gone, bite it from the strap in my whole start. Valleyed up, running on the up block. Slapping up Darren, and we slap up your oldest. Kick him in the head, mash up my loafers. Go to his mum, y'all crash on the sofa. She offered me head with a rash on her chocha. Offered me tea, but I won't use coasters. Nah, he pussy. That was proper disrespectful. You bend this gang back and dig it. You man just talk crud, we live it. But that shit that you said about our man, damn Darren, that shit was inconsiderate. Because he's dealing with some self esteem. It's just as he turned 15. He's with his mum's care, so how dare you talk about this kind? A selfless being. I think I ought to apologize because that shit weren't fruitful. It was a nice and it's kind of offensive that I mentioned his mum. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, that Darren, what a guy. Yeah, fam, he's been through a light life. Reminds me of a man named Jamal. Jamal acts tough, but he wouldn't even swat a fly. So, what if I was to bust you on this therapy thing that he goes to every Wednesday where he tells this nice white lady who he goes yeah, to? Yeah, one low. Yeah, fam, I'll show you. How much we owe? Nah, fam, so cool. Make that phone call. We got a coupon thing. Two for one thing, a group on thing. Oh, you, man, therapy works. Darren's life. Life had never been worse, but he's back to his old self now. He's made progress mentally. Please tell him the what? And thanks for the vouchers. Thanks for handing them out to us. You man could benefit from a couple of sessions where you talk about your anger with counselors. Now, hold on. This man say man's got like anger issues and that. Are you fucking mad? You man ain't Sigmund Freud. Stop. Come to the end. I'll show you anger issues, Sigmund. I'll show you. Hey, no, no, no. 